Hey everyone, I would like to welcome you to our show, Coffee with Kuda. We are going to be diving into different stories, real people, real life, and uh, real circumstances that has happened in their lives. The project Coffee with Kuda is designed to give an insight into people's lives. Why one person has become an addict? What are the stories that lead to someone to use substances? This show gives an insight, it gives a different perspective. So many times do we see a person using drugs, heroin, cocaine, crystal meth, whatever, and uh, we label them as a junkie. But um, they even get involved in life of crime, right? But what's interesting is um, we label the person and with that label, they don't fit into our society anymore. However, though they don't fit in the society, are we able to find ways for them to fit in the society? One of the ways we can get them to fit in is first to understand them. The big issue in our cultures and as a human nature is we fear what we don't understand. And that's why someone can just walk across the street when they see someone coming over. Whether that's because of their color or you're hearing someone screaming, yelling, you walking over across the street is because you don't understand the person and we fear what we don't understand. So many times an addict is yelling to themselves because they're responding to voices in their head. If you walk right past them, they will dodge you because they are aware that they don't want to harm you. But you don't even think that way, right? You just look and say, wow, this person is so violent, is aggressive, so you cross the street. In no way, shape or form am I saying that uh, constantly like, sometimes someone, yeah, they can be aggressive just because they use drugs. So I'm not saying, you know, go ahead and give them a hug. I'm just saying by you avoiding them, you're feeding into the stereotype. We have to avoid these people all the time. But they are so used to it that they are constantly avoided, that um, they are immune to it. But when you hear stories on Coffee with Kuda and you imagine the person coming across has experienced things that you heard on this show, you may actually spare the person a moment. We have uh, individuals who talk about um, witnessing their loved ones getting murdered, witnessing their loved ones being sexually abused at the age of eight, nine. So they live with these memories. They have no way of forgetting it. There's no way of moving past it. So to cover the pain, they take substances. And that's when a cycle begins, a very vicious cycle, just because they are choosing to numb the pain because there's no one to talk to. There are so many people in this show who talk about being bullied in school. They'll talk about um, being laughed at just because they're not wearing nice shoes. Hopefully, when you watch the show, you will share some sort of uh, compassion and dive into the mind of the people that you are prejudging so that you don't have to become the person who does the judgment, but rather a person that does help. As a society, we are so invested in the things people do way more than we're invested in what leads 
to that person doing what they are doing. There's a show on Netflix right now that talks about um, a serial killer. And this show just dives into what this person does, what an animal he is, all these worst crimes in the world. Don't get me wrong, they are not correct by any means. They even talk about um, you look into his eyes, it's almost like there's a devil inside him, he's so sick in his mind. He is sick, <laughs> you see that's the thing. This person has never actually received help. There's no show on Netflix that says why did this person commit these crimes? What was this child, what was this person like in his childhood to lead? Was he loved at home? What was his parents like? Were they using substances at home? Was his dad abusing his mom? So maybe all he knows is just overpower women. So many things that, um, you know, the key is to understand. That's my point. Understand why these things happen so that we can prevent them. Attacking the problem constantly, you're always going to be fighting a problem. But finding reasons behind it may lead the next generation to not have to deal with a serial killer. Now a 10 year old who is being abused at home, seeing his parents fighting, if that kid gets help at 10 and someone t says to them, hey listen, it's okay, we love you, that kid grows to understand what love is and he does not turn out to be a serial killer. I do hope you will enjoy the show. I do hope you will appreciate the stories so that you may one day change your mindset into the way you look at someone you consider to be an addict. Enjoy the show.